We have um, stripes here. These are stripes, of course, obviously stripes, but you know, they could be lines. Uh, they could also be rings. Um, they could be horizons. There's a lot of possibilities with these stripes, and that's the whole point here is whether or not they could be like horizons with sunsets. You know, we got the sunset colors going on here. Um, but, you know, what I, like to, what I like to think about it is there's a lot of detail. This detail that's here takes, a, takes the stripes out of context so that you get involved in the detail that's happening here. And that detail is about what's going on in the stripes, in the color, in the atmosphere. The detail causes the stripes to be uniquely different. Not only in the way they're laid out, but also in the compositions of them. And this adds interest. And this interest is based on my observations of nature. There are two ways of looking at nature right now in the you know, 2007, and that's a digital method by the way we're recording now, and by the analog method, which is the paint that's on this canvas. And yet both of those, both of those tools, the paint that's on this canvas and the digital recording that's, that's taking this in right now, are ways that we gather information about our environment and then place that information in some kind of format so that it can be read, enjoyed, uh, responded to, reacted to, and this is a communication device. And for me, that's what the paintings are, this communication device. The digital, which is the way we're going, you know, in the way we're recording this now and the way the future with the computers and the digital watches and uh, putting everything into zeros and ones, yes or no, right or wrong, in or out. All of this is giving this idea that, you know, the machine is absolutely accurate. And uh, where, where analog is like working in, you know, it's the old film processes, uh, it's... Uh, the uh, drawing with the hand is composed to draw as opposed to drawing with the computer and this is a based on memory and these are chemical kind of uh, actions that happen in the brain and that are that are put down the uh, put down on the paint or in the drawing and this is these chemical versus this uh, electronic all these kinds of devices and yet what really happens here is this a perception about reality whether it's counted in numbers or whether it's perceived in a chemical reaction that's going on in the brain. Both of those things get us to the same place and that's an interpretation of what's happening around us. And why that's important to me as an artist is because my interpretation of what's going on around here is the tools or the language or the symbols or the colors and the stripes that I use to tell you about my understanding of what's going on here in nature. And that's important because, you know, life, nature, it's all connected, it's all important, it's much more important than paint. The paint is a, a means of focusing the viewer's attention in the same way or place that, that I have a focus in. And it's about beauty. It's about responding to the wonderness, the, the excitement, the, the beauty that's in nature, that's all around us. Uh, my favorite painter is Paul Cezanne. It's over a hundred years ago. What he told us was that every place I look, every place I cast my eye, that is, is worthy of being recorded. It doesn't have to be a flower, it doesn't have to be a, a hero, it doesn't have to be a, 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 even an object that's recognizable. He painted oranges that sort of look like sponges or, or uh, rags, and yet he opened the door for the idea of interpretation of the artist 
to the viewer and the viewer interpreting back to the artist. And what we want to do here is give a way of entering in to the beauty that is all here for everybody all the time.